Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm discussing my channel. The name of my channel is Never Age TV, guys. And this channel discusses issues of life. Issues of life. This is where we discuss issues of life. And guys, I've been wanting um, to invite guests to discuss in this channel, to talk about their issues of life in this channel. And guys, how hard can it be to tell people to be on camera? I'm telling you guys, people don't want to be on camera. You invite somebody to come and talk about uh, an issue that she comes approaching you about, and you tell them, please come and discuss it in my channel, and they tell you, please go and talk about it in your channel, because I don't want to come and discuss it myself. And guys, I'm here, having approached so many people, to come and talk but they tell me go and discuss and I'm saying okay I started this channel and it is a channel that we discuss issues of life and I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna trust God that uh, one day people will stop fearing the camera in Kenya guys hey filming is very difficult let me tell you even filming let alone leave alone discussing leave alone in telling somebody to come and discuss issues filming you are taking uh you are uh, filming out there and somebody is running away from the camera the minute you go saying hi to them oh no it's like no please i don't want to be on camera and i'm like we are youtubers we must take these videos we must um uh, we must um bring up issues bring bring about issues that we see out there and um Yes, if they don't want to come on camera, life still continues, life still goes on because we will uh, still talk about the issues that are there in life and issues that affect these families. So guys, this channel, Never Age TV, started with an intention of uh, having guests come and talk about the issues of life because here we discuss about issues of life and guys have found it very, very, very difficult to approach people to come and talk. But I've decided I'll be talking on their behalf. I'll be telling people what they tell me out there. So I'll still continue seeing people out there, talking to them, trying to find out what issues are affecting them in this life. And then I'll come and air uh, these topics here. And uh, guys, are we not going to discuss with you? We'll be discussing with you because yes, there is a comment section. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for those that have not subscribed, uh, please subscribe to this channel guys um, it is always good to subscribe and um, it will cost you nothing to subscribe it just grows the, the channel and this channel will be able to grow so we can discuss this, these issues of life so please subscribe and I thank you so much uh, for those that have subscribed I thank you so much for subscribing and um, Yes, there are many channels, but you subscribe to this one. I don't take it for granted. Thank you so much for subscribing. Guys, continue subscribing. You know, there are these, uh, the analytics uh, shows me the number of people that are watching my videos. And I'm very, very surprised. It surprises me that uh, about 90% of those that watch my videos have not subscribed. And guys, uh, it is only by subscribing that we can grow this channel. Yes, you'll watch this video to the end and you'll not even uh, hit that uh, subscribe button. you go to the next one. Yeah, it's my day to day to request you to subscribe even as you watch videos because it helps the channel and um, it's good to subscribe guys. So. Uh, today, <laughs> as I was trying to, to talk to people about issues of life, I come across uh, this lady who was telling me that she forced her daughter to go uh, and do a certain course abroad and uh, she was like, I regret, I regret uh, sending her there because um, she did what she did not like. and. Uh, she tells me there was battle at home when she was uh, trying to decide on what course she'll take but the mother and the father decided okay you're going to do this and this and that course so you can be like this and uh, so and so's daughter 
So this girl went abroad and uh, let me tell you she didn't like the course that she was doing and she ended up spending her four years abroad and a lot of money there uh, but she never liked what she was doing. So uh, they were telling me how, how, how they have come to learn from their mistakes that you should never force somebody to do something that they don't want. Uh, because um, now here she is, back in the country, no job, no nothing. She wasted her four years abroad and uh, now she's talking about uh, getting married and without a cost, that, uh, without a job. Because I don't know the cost that she did is not marketable back here in Kenya. And um, she could not have overstayed her, her visa uh, abroad and uh, she had to come back. And guys, what a waste. Four years is a very long time. It's a very long time. You force your girl to go and do something that she doesn't like. These guys, uh, these days are never forced to do anything. Let me tell you, please subscribe to this channel for those that have not subscribed. Even clothing, clothing, clothing. You buy clothes for them, they don't wear. They say you have bought them old fashioned clothes. You don't decide for this age. For these teenagers, you don't decide for them. You leave them to decide for themselves. Let them choose their own courses. Let them choose their own courses. Don't force them. Don't choose for them. And let them even choose their own outfits, their own shoes. We can never fit in the, in the gap. Uh, we are old-fashioned, <laughs> as they say. And we agree to that. We cannot fit in the equation, guys. So you can imagine having taken your daughter abroad and everybody knows, oh, and you know those days, you used to do a harambe, a hand, harambe is a fundraising, to be able to, uh, to source money to, for your ticket and for what, and you tell everybody my daughter is going abroad. And they give you money. They give you money because it's a fundraising. And then your daughter goes there and comes back, hey, comes back, yes, with a degree. Hey, but let me tell you, she tamaks here, she doesn't get a job. What a shame. And you know, those girls that she left here, they went to these local universities, and they, uh, they have finished, and they, they have gotten jobs. So the daughter was like, why did you have to force me to do a course that I did not want? You know, there are those very, um, very what? Those parents that stand their, their feet, that feet, and they, they, they they are very dictative, very dictative parents. And they tell their children, yes, it's me who has decided you're going to do this and that cause. No, don't do that. Let these people just decide what they want to do out there. It's their life. It's their life. Children these days are becoming very difficult. It is their life. They are doing dreads. And you tell them, no, 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 I don't want to see you with those dread rocks on your head. And you know, it is fashion. It is fashion to them and you force them to cut their hair. But let me tell you, the minute they'll get out of your sight, they'll do those trade drugs. Leave them, let them be, let them be. We cannot fit in their generation. It is their time, it is their generation. Let them choose what they want to do, do not force them. So guys, this is the topic that uh, my friend told me to come and discuss here and she was like, when well, you go to your channel, please discuss that parents should not force their children to do courses, to go abroad, to do this and that, to wear this and that. And I think it's a, it's a topic that uh, we need to discuss. Yes, it's a topic that we needed to discuss, guys, and we have discussed it. Please don't force them. So guys, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.